John Donne, leading English poet of the metaphysical school who is noted for his excellent poetry, his religious verse and treatises, and his sermons. Donne was born of Roman Catholic parents. He matriculated at Oxford at the age of 12 and after three years transformed, transferred to the University of Cambridge. He then enrolled as a student of the law in London. By the beginning of 1598, Dunn had become a secretary to Sir Thomas Egerton, Lord Keeper of the Great Seal, in an office that was then a recognized path to high public appointments. Dunn had by this time written much of his poetry, most of it in imitation of ancient Latin poets. The classical models, however, are so transformed by his wit and daring imagination that the verses are thoroughly original. He had also composed numerous love lyrics in various moods by 1601, the year in which he married Anne Moore. This marriage took place without her father's consent, an offense against both civil and canon law. When in February 1602 Dunn told her father of the marriage, he was briefly in prison, lost his position, and struggled for many years in poverty. His writings of this period include several well-known secular poems, notably Song, Go and Catch a Fallen Star, A Valediction for Bidding Morning, As Virtuous Men Pass Mildly Away, The Bait, Come Live With Me and Be My Love, The Canonization, For God's Sake Hold Your Tongue and Let Me Love, To His Mistress Going to Bed, Come Madam, Come, All Rest My Powers Defy, and The Anniversary, All Kings and all their favorites. In a casualistical work by Adonatos, written circa 1608, published 1646, Dunn argued the grounds on which one could rightly take one's own life. He was in the throes of a deep personal religious struggle that he expressed in poems written between 1607 and 1613. These holy sonnets include Thou Hast Made Me at the round earth's imagined corners below, death be not proud and batter my heart. Convinced, finally, that he was called to the ministry, Dunn was ordained early in 1615. From October 1616, he was reader, preacher, and spiritual director at Lincoln's Inn. His preaching soon developed great power and eloquence. In 1621, he was installed as Dean of St. Paul's Cathedral in London. After his ordination, his creative talents were occupied almost wholly in preaching and in composing the prose, Devotions Upon Emergent Occasions, 1624. Included in the devotions is the famous passage that begins, No man is an island, and concludes with, And therefore never sin to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. That's from Merriam-Webster's Encyclopedia of Literature.